In this tutorial, we will build a highly interactive MAGA menu that changes based on user interactions. When users hover over any parent menu item, the child items will dynamically change in the next columns, creating a fluid and engaging user experience. I will show you step by step how to achieve this without needing Elementor Pro or any paid plugins. Hi friends, welcome to Loomian. Now, before we start making our dynamic mega menu, I will recommend watching my previous video on how to make a static mega menu using Elementor. So you have a better understanding of difference between a static mega menu and a dynamic one. Okay, let's get started with dynamic mega menu. Step 1. Installing required plugins. We will be using the Astra theme in this tutorial, but don't worry, this method works with any theme. Here's what you need. Elementor, our page builder. Elements Kit Lite, this plugin that helps us create the mega menu. WP Code, to add custom code for dynamic functionality. First, head over to your WordPress dashboard and install these plugins. Go to Plugins, Add New, search for Elementor, install it and activate it. Elements Kit Lite, search for it in the plugin directory, install it and activate it. WP Code, this plugin helps us add custom code easily, search for it, install it and activate it. Before we move forward, Let's check how our website menu looks right now. Go to your website's homepage. As you can see, it's just a simple menu. No drop downs yet. So our step 2 is setting up the basic menu. Now let's set up a basic drop down menu so we can convert it into a mega menu later. Go to dashboard, appearance, menus. You have to create a menu if you don't already have one. Create a new menu and name it something like primary. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I will use services as the parent item. But now I need some sub items for the services. To create it, I will go to custom links here. For the URL, I will use hash. You can use hash if you don't have any page URL yet. Name it something like service1, service2 and service3. Once you have created your sub items, just drag and drop under your services parent menu item. Save your menu and preview your site. When you hover over your services, you should see a basic drop down now. Step 3. Creating a custom header for the mega menu. Mega menus always require custom headers, so let's create one. Go to Elements Kit, Header Footer in your dashboard. Choose Header and click on Add New. Name your header something like Header Template. Set the condition to Entire Site. Enable it and click Edit Content to open Elementor. Now here, you can use a pre-built template or maybe you can make it from scratch using Elementor's widget. We will use a template so click on Elements Kit Templates, select your category, header and insert a design that suits your site. You can customize the header, add your logo, change the color scheme and make sure that you have selected the right menu, Elements Kit Nav. If it's not, delete the default menu and drag Elements Kit Nav into the appropriate column and select the primary menu you created earlier. Save and preview your site. You should now see the custom header with the drop down menu. Step 4 Enabling Mega Menu. Go, to, go back to the dashboard, Appearance, Menu section. Enable the Mega Menu for Elements Kit 
by checking the option under menu setting. Hover over the parents item. In our case, we will select the services and click on mega menu. This will open up a new window where you can enable the mega menu. Here you can change the settings of your mega menu if you want to go with the full width or default width or maybe custom width. Let's go with the custom width and enter your width size. Like in my case, I will enter 1000 px. Save your changes. Now, step 5. Building the dynamic mega menu template. So click on content. Click on edit with Elementor. Out. So here, we don't use any template here because we need a dynamic mega menu. So here just press on plus icon, choose a 4 column layout. The first column will display the parents item like men's wear, women's wear, kids wear. And the next 3 columns will display child items that change dynamically based on which parent is hovered over. You have to focus here because this part is a bit technical. I want to mention that these are very valuable technical skills that nobody really shares for free. These skills are high in demand and sell a lot in the market. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Your support motivates me to keep sharing these advanced technical skills with you. Now let's move on with the video. Now we have four columns layout. We will use HTML widget for our four columns. So first select your first column and click on the plus icon to add a new widget and select HTML widget. Now we need a code for our HTML. I already make a template. You can just go to my website. I gave my link in the description below. You just click on that link and it will take you to my blog post. And here I provide all step by step guide for a dynamic mega menu. If you don't understand anything in my video, you can check my blog post. So just you can copy the first column code from here and paste it into your first column's HTML widget. Second column, drag another HTML widget into the second column. Copy the second column's code for the corresponding child items and paste it in. Third and fourth columns. Repeat the same process for these columns. Just go to my website, copy the third and fourth column code, paste them respectively. Publish your changes and make sure to save everything. Now go back to your website and see the mega menu in action. Now that the mega menu structure is in place, let's make it dynamic. We need to hide the child items by default and only show them when the corresponding parent item is hovered over. So for that, we need the CSS. So just go to my website and copy the CSS code. Now we have to add the CSS code. So just go to your appearance. Click on customize and on the last you will see an option of additional CSS. Just paste your CSS code here. Step 7. Adding JavaScript for dynamic functionality. Now we will add the JavaScript to make the mega menu fully dynamic. Copy the JavaScript code from my website. Go to dashboard WP code plugin and click on add new name it mega menu script select javascript as the file type and paste the code in enable the script and save your changes now go back to your site and hover over the parent items in your header menu men's wear women's wear and kids wear watch as the child items dynamically update in the other columns based on user interactions. So now I want to tell you why I use the HTML. We use HTML widget because we need some classes. So we can use these classes to give them some CSS and JavaScript.
that's why we need html okay that's it you have built a fully functional dynamic mega menu using only free tools enjoy customizing it further to fit your design if you need the full code check the link below let me know in the comments if you faced any issues or have suggestions for further tutorials thanks for watching and see you in the next video make sure to like comment and subscribe for more technical tutorials.